In this question, we have to calculate the value of m so that the inequality 8y cube plus x cube y cube will be greater than m y square x minus 1 where x and y are real numbers greater than 0 definitely hold. So let's do one thing. Just rewrite, let's rewrite the statement. So we can write it 8y cube plus x cube y cube divided by plus 1 divided by y square x will be greater than equals to m. Now the value of m could be would be the defining value for this. Now if we look at the statement again we understand we need to calculate this value where y x and y are the real numbers and we can rewrite the statement for again. So we can if we solve this we'll get 8 y by x and the logic that we'll be applying over in this case will be that the arithmetic mean is always greater than geometric mean greater than equals to geometric mean so first we'll calculate the arithmetic mean of this equation and then we'll compare it with the geometric mean so the equation will turn out to be 8 y by x plus x square y plus 1 by y square x is always greater than equals to or let's say this is the terms this is divided by 3 is always equals to but the multiplication of all these numbers so it turns out to be 8y cube into x square y cube into 1 by y square x and the cube root of that on solving this uh, let's say we'll get uh, we'll cancel out all the terms from here and the term that we'll get is 8y by x plus x square y plus 1 by y square x is greater than or equals to 3 into 8 raised to power 1 by 3. Now, on solving this, on solving this, we get, uh, this is my complete term, this is 6, and so, and as I said before, this is the same term as it is. So the definitely the m will uh, the value of this will be more than six. So b would be the answer.